Hey folks, Dave here. Uh, I want to talk a few minutes about focusing your laser because I've certainly been confused with it. I want to go through how I'm doing it specifically with the Xtool D1 Pro 40 watt, which also applies to the 20 watt. So on the on this side here, you have an adjustment for the rear plate. So if you release this screw, the laser itself will move up and down on the plate. But notice that when you do that, it agitates this connector, which is not cheap. So my suggestion is to just drop it all the way down leave it there uh, it's for incremental adjustments anyway for taking you slightly out of focus and if you need to do that find another way it only on the 40 it goes from zero to four millimeters on the 20 it goes from zero to six i believe okay so once this is down you can drop this little kickstand Lock this back so the plate does not move. And then on the other side, there's a little adjustment screw as well. And I've got a camera set up over there. Hopefully it uh, picks it up good. So you loosen that, hold on to your laser head, loosen that screw, and drop it down to the surface. Now that is the X-Tools recommended way of focusing the laser so once that's done you you got the other side locked down so it's locked good release this one pull the kickstand back up and close that off now that gives us approximately between the the nozzle and the surface of the material approximately 10 millimeters. This represents nine and there's a little bit of play. So I'm going to say 10, but also the laser, the shape of the laser beam itself, for lack of a better analogy, is kind of shaped like a, an hourglass. And it's most powerful at the smallest point. So you can enable the fire button in Lightburn or whatever software you use. And uh, I'll show a clip of that to show where to do it. Okay, folks, to enable the fire button, go up top to device settings. And then here's the button, enable, fire, uh, enable laser fire button. Make sure it's green. Click OK. Go over to the right, to the Move tab, and you'll see the Fire button here. Uh, you want to set the percentage for the lowest uh, that it'll fire. For me, it's 0.5%, and it'll show the uh, the focal point. So whatever whatever works for you, do that. Most people have it set for 1%, and then you can just click the Fire button, and it'll show up on the surface. And then you can make incremental adjustments to get it to the smallest point to get the best result. And then you can actually look at your laser beam. Your, it's the focal point. The focal point. And, and see how small it is. And if your eyes are better than mine, you can, uh, you can look at it and adjust it by moving over here. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to put the fire button on and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so there's the focal point. I'm not sticking my finger under there, even though it's a very low power. And then you can release the screw. And then you can try to move this to get that beam as small as possible. 
And but my eyes are not good enough to do that. So I'm gonna go back to my original 10 millimeters, drop the kickstand, loosen the other side, and then drop it down on the kickstand and lock it down. And then I'm going to leave the kickstand down. We got a lot of trash in here. Then I had seen uh, Sam Craft do a video where uh, he's making slight adjustments uh, while engraving some uh, slate coasters. And it's a super good idea. So you can make adjustments and in increments of whatever material you've got. In this case, we'll do three millimeter. So if you've got your beam fired up, you can loosen the screw and then raise up three millimeters. And then you can do it, you know, six, nine, whatever, whatever you need to do. And you'll know, let me get that off. You'll know if you need to, if there's a, uh, in your surface, if you see some fuzziness or it just doesn't quite look right, you can test this and make a slight adjustment off of the factory requirements or the factory recommendations and see if you can get a better result out of it. So, uh, that's how I do it. And I'm really new at this, like many of you are. And there's not a lot of information on the internet about how to focus these. There's not a lot of information in the instruction manual about how to focus these. So if anyone has some better information to help me focus my jobs better and something that would help everyone else out, please, please make a comment. Make a bunch of comments because... Um, I'm learning like everybody else, and I would just like to get better. Well, okay, folks, I appreciate you taking time to watch. I hope it was helpful. Uh, sometimes it helps me to talk myself through what I'm doing, so uh, hopefully I can get better at this too. So uh, y'all just take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.